I grew up in New York, just outside of New York City. And we didn't grow up with a lot. And I remember one day just walking down the, the road, lived on this little thing in a place called Levittown, and I found, I don't know, what, probably a $5 bill. I found this $5 bill or whatever it was. I don't even remember. It could have been a $1 bill. It seemed like a $1,000 bill to me. I was just a kid. And I remember that was the best day ever. I still remember that day decades later. I had a piece that comes from circumstance. Now, this is not that kind of peace, right? Jesus says, peace be with you to a people who are behind closed doors, locked behind closed doors in fear. In Philippians 4, 9, it says you'll have peace that passes all understanding. It surpasses all understanding. So that kind of peace is when you, not when you just find the $5 bill, when you lose the $500,000 whatever, um, there's still a peace that surpasses. It's un, ununderstandable to the world. The world can't grasp the fullness of it. And it's not the absence of problems, but the presence of peace that's personified in Jesus. Matter of fact, Ephesians 2.14 says, he is our peace. I love that passage. He is our peace. So, so again, a recurring theme of the teaching of the Bible and, and the ministry and teaching of Jesus is that you're going to respond in tumult and turbulent different, differently because you have Jesus. In John 14, 27, Jesus says, peace I leave with you. I love that. My peace I give to you. It's not as the world do I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Don't let your hearts be troubled and neither let them be afraid. And maybe that's what the Lord has for you today. Maybe you're in a tumultuous and turbulent time and I want you to hear, do not let your hearts be troubled and neither let them be afraid.